the check in with Meg McNamara for the forecast. I cannot believe it is November. It doesn't feel like it. I know, and it's <laughs> going to be 70 again on Tuesday. Wow. So, yes, we do, though, have a rainy start to the week and the potential for some strong to severe storms. So, we'll take a look at that in just a second. For now, thank you so much to our weather watchers keeping an eye on things here. So, we're seeing some mid 40s. Who is this from here? 45 degrees from our good friends Bill and Kim. And yes, they're in Abingdon. Cloudy skies nine minutes ago. So thank you so much. I'm sure the granddaughters are asleep at this point. 50 on the dot. Let's see. This is from our friend Willie Hill in Woodbine. We appreciate that. So this is the range overnight. Most of us dipping down into the mid 40s eventually. That's where we are headed. We'll get there. And then temperatures across the state. So BWI, we are at 51 degrees, 49 for Rock Hall, Westminster 48, Hagerstown, low 50s for you. Some roller coaster temperatures, though, to look forward to this week. And the radar, you can see how quiet we are for now across Maryland. That's going to change. So we have two separate rounds of rain. The first one will arrive overnight into tomorrow morning. I think it will affect your commute tomorrow morning. I think we're going to see uh, a good amount of rain. And then we also have this threat for severe storms. However, this is on Tuesday. So this is not for tomorrow. This is a different system that will track through on Tuesday. The main threats, once again, sounds very similar to the setup on Friday. Hopefully it will not be the same outcome, but it is the same setup where we're going to have a warm, moist environment and then a cold front moving across the area. So we are expecting excessive rainfall and there is the potential for more damaging winds. As we run the future cast, so here we are tonight, we're quiet. Not very quiet, though, by Monday 8 a.m. Most of Maryland at that point covered in green, meaning covered in rain. Uh, looks a little heavy at certain times. Tuesday, much heavier it looks like, and this is when we're expecting those stronger storms. So as for Tuesday, we see it moving in 10 a.m., and then we actually see it clearing out later on in the day. And then the rain seems to be well ahead of the cold front because we don't see the cold front pushing through until the evening hour. So for Tuesday, so far, it seems to be during the day. So tonight, dipping down into the upper 40s there, and then as we look ahead to tomorrow, upper 50s. Those will be the highs with that rain likely, particularly in the morning. Then on Tuesday, that's when we have the threat for storms. Not good news for voters trying to get to the polls. Not only are you going to be dealing with long lines, you are now going to be dealing with storms, it seems. Wednesday is lovely. We'll enjoy Wednesday. We will enjoy Thursday while we have it. And then by Friday, the rain returns, but leaves just in time for the weekend. The weekend, it will be very cool, but it does look at least sunny. But overnight temperatures, they'll be down into the 30s. So we're really kind of up and down over mm -hmm. the next seven days. So don't get used to any kind of weather because it's going to change. Still can't believe we're going to have a 70 degree weather in November. That's right. Yes. But with rain. But with rain. I know. <laughs> so you won't really get to enjoy it, unfortunately. Yes, that's the case. Thank you, Meg. Thank you.